Simon Sinek has done a fantastic job letting us all know that we should start with why. And that's why it's so funny when I tell my clients and audiences, avoid asking the question why. I get very perplexed looks. Well, and there's a reason why that is. There are two sides to why. There's a momentum why and there's a resistance why. And here's the difference. First off, momentum why. And there's two aspects to this. Um, and what Simon says is why as a purpose. What is your, start with why, which is what's your purpose of doing whatever you're doing. Really important to be clear on that. So it's purpose based. And also asking questions why that are non-human related. For example, why is there smoke coming out of the basement? <laughs> or why did we get the specific test result? Those are non-human types of why that are all about um, discovery and inquiry around progress in the things that we're doing or problem solving. The resistant why has to do with asking someone for their, a person for their motivation, for their behavior. So why are, why are you doing that? Why did you do it that way? Why didn't you do it? That type of why that's directed at a, a human being's motivation most often will create de defense and resistance. And so it's better to use questions like how, when, um, tell me more about that, um, how so. Those are all questions that really prompt more connection and understanding and collaboration than just using the why. Now, of course, that will be relative to your relationship and the tone of voice and the space you're coming to ask that why. But generally speaking, um, when you're talking about purpose or scientific or problem solving, why is a momentum. Whereas why that's around human motivation tends to create more resistance. So we just remember that. So I'm Karen Valencic. I am the founder and creator of Spiral Impact. And we're all about power with grace in the workspace. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.